most times when you're gonna model or sculpt something you want to start from a good base mesh uh, sometimes though it, it's a bit time consuming to make that mesh um, so I'm gonna show you a way that I think it's pretty good if you're familiar with ZBrush this is kinda like using C spheres so we're gonna start by creating a plane and deleting all vertices except one and this guy we're gonna make sure it's in the center that's gonna be useful later for symmetry and now we have just one vertex that we can extrude if you press E and we're gonna have a bunch of edges if you were to render this it you wouldn't see anything what we're gonna do now is gonna add a modifier called skin this is gonna actually create a mesh uh, around the edges that you have if you turn on x-ray and edit mode the cool thing is now you can keep extruding it and the mesh is gonna keep updating its shape you can select one in between and you can also extrude that one and the mesh is gonna keep updating if I show you the wireframe you can see how how it's actually doing it alright so we're gonna delete these and say we're gonna work on a base mesh for a dragon so let's start working on the main part of the body this is part of the tail oops and as you can see right now the each part is like the it's very straight from point to point if we want this to be smoother you can add a modifier a subdivision surface modifier put it before the skin and if you increase the levels and it's gonna be new smooth and nice so you can continue modifying it and it's just gonna be better this this way and now if you don't like how blocky this noodle is you can also add another one subdivision surface after the skin this time and well you can change the levels to subdivide it as many times as you want you can see how it's now uh, it has a lot of faces now I'll leave it at one for now now the cool part about this is that you can select vertices hit control A to change the radius of each individual vertex so now I'm just gonna do these this tail a bit pointy looks like a worm right now but it's fine All right. it's not it's never gonna be perfect but it's just an approximation so it should be fine so for the legs let's select that one let's go to the front view Oop. Oh. and gonna extrude to the side make smaller extrude a bunch of times now you'll see that this area looks a bit weird it's better if you separate the the leg part from the main body so I'm gonna hit control R to create one here and then delete it so now they're actually gonna be separate the problem is this one has no skin anymore fix that just select the top vertex and click mark root over here and now it has skin again so let's position this dude here Oop, control A so once you're happy with it you could select with control L select the entire edge shift D and just work on the other one All right so once you're happy with this you might want to symmetrize it so you can select all of it with A go to mesh and symmetrize just make sure that this is from positive X to negative and there you go you have the little dragon now you can activate symmetry and it's gonna mirror you could also use a mirror modifier if you want it and that's pretty much it you could still add more detail toes and wings and stuff um, and if you want to get rid of the modifiers make sure they have the settings you want them to have then in object mode select object convert to mesh and it would be good if you check this box keep original just to have the original with the modifiers still I'm gonna hide it for now and yeah now if you're gonna sculpt this if you're gonna use this for sculpting um, the problem is that right now it's one object but it's many meshes if I select one of these 
it's not actually connected to the body and for sculpting we need them all to be one mesh so to do this first we need to separate them by hitting P and by loose parts this is inside edit mode and then outside you'll see that now they're all individual parts next we'll select them all and from edit bull tool this is an add-on that you can get from uh, preferences add-ons just look for it and with all the meshes selected you click union and now it's once again one mesh but it's actually like merged connected with very ugly topology but that doesn't matter because now we're gonna go to sculpting and we're gonna activate dynamic topo constant detail five should be fine oops and flood and now that's it now you can start sculpting this guy and well do whatever you want with it as a little bonus if you're going to rig this creature um, you can use the lines you created earlier the ones with all the with all the modifiers all you have to do is simply click create armature and now you have bones for all the lines you created which might save you some time but yeah that's about it goodbye